from Seattle Police. They tweeted this a few minutes ago. They're saying that officers are responding to a report of a shooting at a school in the 1800 block of North 135th Street. This again is Ingram High School. Uh, let's actually go to that sound from the parent that photojournalist Robin spoke to. Take a listen. Yeah, I have a freshman student inside and he texted us maybe 30 minutes ago uh, that they were on lockdown and that there was uh, apparently a shooting and we're getting more texts from his, from his friends that there's been a shooting inside. Rumor from people standing around the scene here is that the shooter has, is no longer on the property. I don't know the truth to any of that or not. I, I did see an ambulance go inside with a stretcher, so it seems somebody actually has been hurt. We're also getting some information just in that the school is secure right now. Uh, you can see a couple of Seattle police uh, vehicles there on the scene right now. Again, this, the school was has been on lockdown, but we are just getting word that the school is secure. You heard from that parent who has a freshman uh, inside the school right now. They were told to be quiet and stay uh, pretty much locked down indoors and that um, an ambulance is there as well. Obviously a very frightening moment for parents there right now. Uh, we are keeping a very close eye on, um, actually we're just getting this, Justin from Seattle Police. Uh, they're tweeting now, this is addressed to Ingram High School families. Police have secured the school. Reunification site will be at 135 Meridian. No students are being released at this time, but families can prepare to meet at that location. So there is some positive news there that at least the school is secure at this moment. They're making arrangements for reunification. That site, again, as you can see on your screen right now, this is from Seattle Police, uh, their Twitter page. Uh, parents can go to 135, 135th and Meridian, and no students are being released at this time. You heard from that parent that uh, his, uh, his, his child, who is a freshman, they're being told to stay indoors at that high school. Now, again, we do have a photojournalist on the scene right now. You can see Seattle police are still on the scene. This is at Ingram High School in North Seattle. Now, we're also keeping a very close eye on Seattle Public Schools Twitter page as well for any updates. We've reached out to them to get any updates that we can. Obviously, there's a lot going on right there, a very active scene. Uh, we are, uh, just to recap from what we know so far, very limited information, but police are reporting that at least one person is injured. We do not know yet whether it was a student or whether it was a staff member. Lots of unknowns at this point, but we do know at least one person is injured. The extent of their injury is unknown. You can see over there in these live pictures that there are some concerned people, perhaps some parents. The, the father you heard from just a moment ago also there on the sidewalk, probably very concerned, waiting to get word whether they could reunite with their kids. We do also have several crews on the way. Brady Wakayama is on the way right now as well. We have another reporter headed over there. Let's give you another look at the latest information from Seattle Police, Ingram High School families. They're being told that police have secured the school after um, someone was injured. Reunification site will be at 135th and Meridian. No students are being released at this time, but families can prepare to meet at that location. If we can go back to those live pictures, you can see that people in the distance, uh, looks like they are investigators and perhaps some staff members in the distance who are on their way to the school as well. Now we also have Sky King on the way right now to North Seattle to get some more, get a better idea of the scope of this breaking news. You can see just down this road that there's a large Seattle police presence there right now as we get to uh, await, try to get some more word from the school district in terms of what happened. We have a lot of unknowns. It's unknown whether uh, they're still looking for anybody. We, all we know at this point is one person was injured. Not clear yet what the extent of their injuries are right now. Again, if you're jo just joining us at this hour, we have some breaking news that we're following. Ingram High School is on lockdown right now as police are um, investigating this incident. All we know at this point is that at least one person is injured and they are asking that people avoid the area as the school is on lockdown. Uh, Ingram High School, uh, what we know so far about it, it's uh, nine through 12. The school is in the Holler Lake neighborhood in Seattle. Now here are the pictures from Sky King. These are live pictures overlooking the area. They are just now approaching that high school. 
I mean, you can maybe get a better idea of whether there may be any ev evacuations in place. At last check, we're told that the students are being told to stay inside and for parents out there who are watching this or if you're just now getting word perhaps from the school district, Seattle police are at least, at least tweeting publicly that there will be a reunification site again. That's going to be on 135th and Meridian. No students are being uh, told to go outside. They're not being released, but families can be prepared to meet at that location. So just to recap, we do know that one person has been shot. Still unclear if it was a student. We are waiting to get more word. We heard from that parent just moments ago who was very concerned. Uh, they have uh, first responders at the scene. Um, clearly a very, uh, very intense time for the students and the staff and obviously for parents there. We're working to try to get more information. We also have uh, crews heading over there right now who will be on the ground. You can see in these live pictures Sky King over the immense police response from Seattle police. Um, and we do have several photojournalists on the scene as well. Yeah. King 5 reporter uh, Brady Wakayama, it looks like he's just about there. Um, we're going to get to him in just a moment for a live report on the ground. In fact, uh, King 5's Brady Wakayama just got to the scene. Uh, Brady, you're right in front of the, the high school right now. What are you seeing? What can you tell us? Yeah, Christine, we just got here moments ago. We're just on the corner of 135th and Meridian Avenue. And as you can see behind me, too, there is a heavy police presence. And they just actually closed the street off again at that intersection of 135th and Meridian Avenue. And again, right now, we just have a lot of parents just throughout this scene as well, just along this block. Um, texting hastily calling their students trying to get information any information they can get and again right now all we can confirm is from that seattle police department tweet which is that one person is reportedly injured this is of course a developing situation they are asking people to please avoid the area and as of now exactly that's all the information we have we were told also moments ago that the public information officer should be coming here shortly to give us more information on exactly what happened but again right now all we do know is that one person is injured and unfortunately it appears that the shooter has fled the scene um, as of now so again a heavy police presence here we've seen a lot of uh, police cars going up and down the streets circling the blocks surrounding the school and again um, unfortunately certainly a lot of concerned parents here as well but again we're going to be here for the next several hours trying to get you guys more information on what's going on but uh, Christine I'll send it back to you for now yeah thank you very much Brady and actually I do want to ask you you just got to the scene this is Ingram High School in North Seattle what is the traffic situation and the police presence like we saw a lot of Seattle PD vehicles out there sorry Christine say that one more time we're seeing a huge and immense Seattle police presence out there I mean, what can you tell us about any closures people were told should avoid the area as first responders head over to the scene again in Ingram High School right so what what we do know right now is that the school is currently on lockdown and also I was just told by a parent as well there are some other schools on lockdown as well but again still trying to wait for the public information officer to arrive here we we're told again they should be here at any minute just to give us more information on what exactly is going on but again as of now they're telling people to please avoid the area and the school is on lockdown Brady, thank you very much. We'll get back to you in just a moment. Maybe you can speak with some parents to get a better idea of what, what is happening. Meantime, we can go back to these uh, Sky, Pink, Sky King pictures, live pictures over Ingram High School in North Seattle. We saw an ambulance actually leave the area uh, momentarily, just briefly, uh, heading out of the school campus. But um, just want to reiterate, though, that... Uh, that the school is secure. That is what Seattle police are telling us at last check from their latest tweet. Uh, they're saying that reunification plans are underway. Parents are being told that they should meet and gather on 135th and Meridian. 
uh, and that no students are being released at the time um, and that families can prepare to meet over there to reunite with their kids. Um, you can see from these live pictures, again, Sky King, you don't see the, the typical you know, view, the images of students filing out of the school yet because they're being told to stay inside. Uh, we heard from that parent who was very concerned. Uh, he, he spoke with a, a freshman, his, his child who was a freshman at the high school, who says that they're being told to stay inside and that one person was injured. Again, just to recap, the school has been on lockdown as of about at least an hour ago um, after one person was injured. Still no word if it was a student, if it was a staff member. We have all these questions out to SPD and to Seattle Public Schools right now to try to get some more information. There in this view from Sky King, you can see probably some parents who are gathering in the, at the parking lot of the school probably waiting to get uh, some more word of what, what to do next. But again, Seattle police are, are telling families of um, students who go to Ingram High School to meet at 135th and Meridian. Now, as for who was responsible, who fired the shots, we have very little information. We're waiting to get that confirmed with SPD right now, but obviously a very active scene. Police are likely also trying to glean some information. We're also keeping a very close eye on Seattle Public Schools Twitter page to get a better idea um, of, of what, what happened. Um, I think the biggest priority is making sure everyone is safe. Again, live pictures over Ingram High School at this moment.